It's being driven uh, in a big part by the economy uh, and by the um, budget challenges the state of Oregon faces. And, and the state of Oregon is uh, not alone. All, all 50 states are facing a shortfall right now of some type. And uh, the CCO model, the integration of the uh, physical health, the mental health, and the dental health services into one entity will create the most efficiency and allow the state to receive uh, the greatest return for its purchase it will improve the health of the communities as well in the long run through better care coordination. Some des describe it as evolution because it, it doesn't it didn't happen overnight and it won't happen overnight it will it will evolve over time so it was it was in a response to a uh, to a financial uh, situation of, of needing to provide more efficient care and we're very excited because we do see that happening already. We see some of the synergies of the mental health and physical health care coming together in, in a short period of time. It's a long time coming. Uh, I've been with this company for 14 years and so I've seen uh, the segregation, if you will, or the silos of the different types of care, uh, mental, physical, and dental health for the Oregon Health Plan members. The intent was good but what happened, more than not, uh, no communication when trying to coordinate other services outside of the silo. Very difficult, uh, and for the mental health consumer, for someone trying to seek mental health care and then go into the physical health world trying to get preventive care, it was very difficult. This, I think, is an opportunity to ensure that the health care is delivered in the right place, which is the primary care physician's office instead of the emergency room. And emergency room care is something that we were seeing escalate over time quite significantly. Emergency rooms don't follow up on care. They don't get to know the patient. I mean, they serve a very vital purpose, but it isn't primary care. So I, I, if there's one single thing that comes out of all of this, it, it is that you have to focus on delivering care with, by the primary care provider. The specialty referral uh, care comes back to the primary care provider so they know what's happening, so they can really guide that patient. We had an individual that had 27 ER visits. Um, they weren't in the right foster home. Uh, they, they weren't getting the right care for their uh, uh, fully catheter care. So in working with long-term care and the DHS agency, that individual was changed and they literally went from 27 visits to zero. It, just a stark difference. But if you're not looking at those issues and those individuals, these are people, you're not going to get that information and you're not able to problem solve or, or wrap that individual around with the services that may positively impact them. One of the other uh, large gains would be the sharing of data, creating what is called a single database. Uh, so we'll have for uh, the individual patient record, we'll have the physical health, the mental health and dental health uh, needs, services, activities, history, all in a combined database, uh, which will make it uh, a lot better for them when they seek help from their primary care provider uh, he or she will be able to access a lot more information a lot quicker than they have in the past, which will improve health. It's really increased the satisfaction by the primary care providers because they don't have to send someone out of their offices to access mental health services. It's not the same as folks with broken bones or a chronic other type of condition. Mental health issues, the window of opportunity to provide help counseling, needed medications, is a very brief, sometimes a window of opportunity. So to tell someone, no, now you need to go across town, set up an appointment, many times those opportunities are lost. This is a very good thing. It really, it's really very, very exciting. I, I had told um, uh, our CEO here that in your, in your career, you don't often get the opportunity to be a part of something that is so significant, such a significant change. I would love if here in Southern Oregon we could just get everyone on board in hospitals. Last night we had our first board meeting and here you have Providence and Asante Hospital, alcohol and drug CEOs, uh, mental health CEOs. I mean, this is powerful. This has never happened and I did feel a part of something historic and looking forward to the change because it, it will occur.